Hi, I'm Dan Redley-Ellis from Edinburgh Napier University and in this short video we're going to have a quick look at the operating principles of timber grading machines approved for use in Europe. In Europe we have two systems for grading new timber, visual strength grading and machine strength grading. Now visual grading can be done by people or it can be assisted by machines, but the machines I'm going to talk about now are the ones used in machine strength grading. Now machine grading works by measuring one or more indicating properties. This is something that the machine measures that's indicative of strength, stiffness and density of the timber that allows you to grade it to a strength class. There are a number of different machine types and a number of different operating principles with pros and cons for potential to grade secondary timber. Those indicating properties are based on one or more of the following. Something to do with stiffness something to do with density, something to do with knots, or something to do with slope of grain. This is a bending type of grading machine. There are a few different models. This one is an NPC computer mounting machine. As you can see, it's bending the timber about the minor axis, and this particular kind is it passes through three rollers. The middle roller is the one applying the bending force, and there's a transducer there measuring the deflection. That allows an estimate of stiffness. That's the indicating property for a machine like this. But because the timber is passing through at speed, this is not as exact as you would get with a laboratory bending test, but it is measuring along most of the length so that you get the least stiff portion within that length of wood. Because it's physically bending the wood, there's a limit to how large a cross-section you can put through a machine like this. And because most of the machines predate computer control, it would be hard to adapt a machine like this to any kind of uh, any new kind of grading. This is a more modern type of grading machine with a stiffness-based indicating property. This one is an acoustic machine, and it's a Microtech Viscan Compact. This one is using the longitudinal mode of resonance, which is less sensitive to any cross-section deviation or lack of straightness in the board. So this might be quite good one for grading secondary timber. When the timber pauses there, the machine is measuring the mass of the board. In this particular case, it does it with a weighing scale. And there's a metal ball that shoots out and hits the timber on the end very fast, so you might not be able to see it in this video, and that causes it to vibrate. And there's a laser vibrometer that's measuring the frequency of vibration. Other types of machine use contact transducers or even microphones to get that frequency. In principle, there's no limit to how big a board can be for this kind of machine. Here on the machine control panel, you can see what it's measuring. It's doing an FFT, a fast Fourier transform, to get the peak frequencies. And that's what it's using to calculate the dynamic stiffness as the indicating property. The other type of common grading machine that we have in Europe is an X-ray based machine. The one we're about to see is a Microtech Golden Eye 702. There's not a lot to see on the outside of these machines. It's just a box with a hole in it. When the timber goes through, the machine is measuring uh, with a two-dimensional x-ray. It gets a very detailed picture of the density within the board and the size and the position of the knots. And it uses a combination of all these measurements to make an indicating property. This can also take very large cross-sections, although they do have to fit through the hole in the machine. The box that you see after the grading machine is measuring moisture content. Most types of grading machine have to be corrected or the indicating property has to be adjusted for the moisture content too. Now one of the advantages of x-ray machines is that they can see inside the wood. So if there's something in there that shouldn't be, it might show up on the x-ray. So this is, is another type of grading machine that might work well for secondary timber. So there's another kind of grading machine. I don't have a video of a real one, but they use grain angle as the basis for their indicating property. They do this by shining a laser spot or a grid of lasers on the surface of the wood and the laser spots elongate in the direction of the grain. So they use optical cameras to map the grain angle on, on the surface of the wood and make a strength and stiffness prediction on the basis of that. Now with this kind of machine there might be some surface quality issues to deal with uh, to make sure that you can measure the, the grain angle on the surface but in principle this is also quite a good kind of grading machine for secondary timber. 
So if we're going to come up with a new system of strength grading for secondary timber, in an ideal world it would be possible to use any of these kinds of grading machine, but there are a few things to consider, and probably the most important one is ability to control the machine with a computer, because it's quite likely that the settings of the machine, the thresholds of the indicating property, would need to be adjusted more rapidly than they are with new wood and on the basis of previous indicating property measurements. Other practical issues that would either be, have to be dealt with by the grading or the initial processing are that we don't want the machine to be confused by any lack of uniformity in the cross-section, lack of straightness, holes, metal fasteners in the wood and any problems with the surface finish.